Tonight, the death toll is rising as wildfires continue raging in Southern California. Two major fires are burning near Los Angeles at this hour. At least three people are dead. Tens of thousands of people have been forced from their homes. The air across the region filling with smoke. Errol Barnett is on the front lines of the firefight. Flames continue to rip hillsides north of Los Angeles today, as they've been doing since Thursday. These houses are starting to go. 31 homes have been destroyed, with many others remaining unlivable. 100,000 people were ordered to evacuate as embers flew in all directions. This morning, more than 200 residents lined up at this LAPD checkpoint for five-minute escorts back into their homes. What are you most in need of? Uh, for right now, I just need to get back home to get uh, insurance paperwork. Leon Lee saw wind gusts bring fire to her backyard. There were embers flying everywhere. But it's still unknown how this 7,500-acre fire began, though neighbors say an electrical transmission tower belonging to Southern California Edison could be to blame. The brush underneath that tower was on fire, and the wind was blowing so hard, it just it took off. California's governor declared a state of emergency for Los Angeles County and Riverside County 90 miles east. There, 76 Cala Mesa mobile homes were lost. Authorities confirmed 89-year-old Lois Arvickson died along with at least one other person. The probable cause has been traced to this trash truck. Witnesses recorded smoke billowing and said the truck pulled over and dumped burning trash near dry brush. I pulled up to him and I said, you can't, you cannot stay here. With the wind and then the field right there, you're going to catch everything on fire. The trailer park is now a crime scene, investigated by CAL FIRE and the Riverside County Central Homicide Unit. It is a stark reminder of how easily these wildfires can quickly flare up and become deadly. So fire officials here are imploring people to clean off any leaves, needles and other dry brush blown up by these seasonal winds. Because, Meg, this is only the beginning of fire season. Stark reminder indeed, Errol Barnett, thank you.